Do you have rough bullet gall on your gamble oak? It's not good. How about cytosporic canker on your spruce? The Jefferson County Master Gardeners can handle any green thumb issue you can dig up. It's coming up on Jefferson County Insights. There's a bug right there. There are good bugs. Ladybugs. Well, come here. I know where they are. And bad bugs in the garden. It'll oh. suck the juices out of the leaves. Look at this guy. That's the lesson in one of the year-round programs at the Jefferson County Fairgrounds. Oh, look at a grasshopper. Oh, cool. The Jefferson County Master Gardeners use their demonstration garden here to teach local school children about gardening. You know how to tell they're ready when you can kind of see them sticking up at the top? Look how many cows I got. They love it because it's a real hands-on experience. Aww, too bad. And we love it because it gives us an opportunity to talk about what we enjoy as well. So I just like picking the plants and learning about how to plant the plants and everything. It's really cool. Connecting with nature and growing food and flowers from the dirt. That's what all 150 of these volunteers love to do. That's the thing that links them together and makes them so much fun, is they all come to us with a passion for gardening. Through a partnership with Colorado State University and Jefferson County, they go through extensive training and classwork to be certified as master gardeners. There is no way that the three of us who are on staff here could possibly reach the citizenry that we are able to do with the volunteers. Did you know that an insect has three parts? Some work with children. Some write and maintain a blog. Some visit farmers markets to answer your questions. And others man the hotline ready to take your calls. We're all about helping you to learn to do anything in your garden better. You can even bring your problem in to the CSU Extension Office in Golden for a personal diagnosis. So Fran Chasson is sort of like a plant doctor. She gets every kind of question you can imagine. From grass... People here are very concerned about how their property looks. ...to bugs. He's crawling all over. Patty O'Neill helps train them to understand the science and botany of plants how to be a detective, a plant detective, and ask the right kinds of questions to get to the root of the problem, and then through the science of gardening, we can help them solve the problem. I uh, got through the master gardener training, got through it. I did it two years ago, and for the, this is my third year, and I love it. But sometimes it's not about science, but trial and error. I think you're not a good gardener if you don't experiment, be brave, and kill a few plants now and then. That's how you learn, actually. The master gardeners do the research for you. They grow plants from Africa, yellow flowers that smell like chocolate, even ornamental oregano. The ones with a silver tag are still in the test stage. Those that have survived more than three years get the plant select label that you can find on plants you buy in the store. They also test different growing techniques by planting blueberries in bales of peat moss buried underground. Apple trees trained to grow on a fence using espalier vines. And vertical gardens, no pots needed, just plant right into the bags of soil. From lawn watering to ladybugs, the Jefferson County Master Gardeners are at your service they kind of extend our reach into the county and enable us to do so many more things than we would be able to do without them. They're invaluable. 